stopped all these trucks to try to prevent people from accessing this public area. Completely 100% publicly owned property. You can see it's not really working though. People are streaming in from everywhere. Here, right here. Why are you in right here? 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 I don't see no right here. Right here. Right here. Grand jury in Elijah McLean investigation in Dietz officers, medics in 2019 death. Elijah McLean, a young black man who was detained and placed in a chokehold in a confrontation with police in 2019. Two police officers, one former officer and two paramedics in Aurora, Colorado, will face charges in his death. The indictment comes after an eight-month grand jury investigation convened by Colorado's top prosecutor. After earlier learning that a grand jury returned an indictment, McLean's father, LaWayne Mosley, said he cried tears of joy. The mother of James McLean, who died after an encounter with police in Aurora, Colorado, says she is thankful that his killers will be held accountable. Nothing will bring back my son, Terence Mosley said. McLean's death prompted months of protests by activists that dovetailed into national demonstrations. He had told police, I can't breathe, a phrase that has been a familiar rallying cry against police brutality. Police video showed him writhing on the ground saying, I can't breathe, please, and vomiting. Paramedics were called to the scene, and he was injected with ketamine to sedate him, he apologized for vomiting. Authorities said officers applied a carotid control hold, which is a type of choke hold. Two police officers in Adams County, New Hampshire, gave a patient an overdose of the pain-killing drug Percocet and he was taken off life support less than a week later. About seven minutes after he received the drug, John McLean went into cardiac arrest and could not be revived. Medics were able to revive him, but he was later declared brain dead. Young declined to press charges against the officers. Aurora, Colorado, police banned carotid control holds last summer, and federal authorities are reviewing whether a civil rights investigation is warranted. An independent probe commissioned by the city of Aurora and released in February concluded police had no justification to stop or use force to detain James McLean. The 5'7", 140-pound McLean was given ketamine that would have been proper for a man weighing 190 pounds, the panel's findings found. A lawsuit filed by McLean's family alleges excessive force over a span of 18 minutes caused an increase of lactic acid in his blood, and mixed with the ketamine negatively affected his respiratory system. If you haven't done yet please subscribe our channel.